in the first example here, we're being asked to describe the transformation, the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So when we're asked for a transformation, it can either be a translation, which just means we move the same shape. It can be an enlargement where the shape gets bigger or smaller. It can be a rotation or a reflection. So it's going to be one of these four things. We can see it's not a translation. It hasn't just been moved. It hasn't got bigger or smaller. So it's not an enlargement. And there's nowhere we can draw a mirror line to go from shape A to shape B. So it must be a rotation. So it must be a rotation. So I'm going to write rotation. We need to give two more bits of information. We need to give how many degrees it's turned, in, wh in which direction has it turned. So shape A to shape B, it's 90 degrees anti-clockwise. 90 degrees anti-clockwise. We could also say it's well, 270 degrees clockwise, but 90 degrees anti-clockwise. And we also need to know the center of like the, where it's been rotated about. So I'm going to write center and I'm going to give some coordinates. So if I had some tracing paper, so I'll grab some tracing paper. Where would I have to have the center? Where would I have to hold the tracing paper to move shape A onto shape B? So let's draw a north line here. I'll go around shape A. So if I hold the tracing paper at zero, zero at the center, will shape A go onto shape B? So I'm going to turn it 90 degrees anti-clockwise and shape A goes on to shape B. So its center is at zero, the origin center at the origin so it's a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise or we could say we could go 270 degrees clockwise it's the same thing so 90 degrees anti-clockwise with the center at the origin and that is all the information that we need to give these three parts to describe a rotation so here's one for you to try. So describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So again, it is a rotation. So the first bit of information we need is rotation. How far has it turned? So this is 180 degrees. It's a whole, it's half a turn, 180 degrees. We don't have to give clockwise or anti-clockwise because it would be the same both ways. And what's the center? So where do we have to hold the tracing paper? So if we grab some tracing paper, and I'll try it at the origin again. So I'm gonna draw a line going up and I'm gonna draw a round shape A. So if I rotate this shape, if I rotate this tracing paper, 180 degrees, so the arrow will be going down. Will shape A go to shape B? Yes, it will. So you can see it's 180 degrees. hundred and eighty degrees. And the center is again at the origin. So rotation, 180 degrees, center of the origin. And another question, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A on to triangle B. So triangle A is down here. And again, it's going to be a rotation. And this is a 180 degree rotation. So it's rotation, 180 degrees. We don't have to say clockwise or anti-clockwise. 
because it would be the same thing both ways around. And we just need to know the center. So where do we hold the tracing paper? So let's grab the tracing paper. And I'll try it at the origin again. So I'm going to draw a line going north. And I'm going to draw a round shape A. So if I rotate this 180 degrees, will it go onto shape B? No, it won't. So the tracing paper is being held in the wrong place, so I'm going to move it. So if I try from 1, 0. So I'm going to move that so from A. So now I'm going to hold my tracing paper at 1, 0 and rotate it. And we can see it goes on to shape B. So the center this time is at one zero. So center one zero. And one for you to try. So describe the transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So we can again see it's a rotation and it's gone 90 degrees clockwise. But where do we hold the tracing paper? Where is the center? So let's try and figure that out. So let's get the tracing paper. So I'll draw a line going up and draw a round shape A. So if I held the tracing paper at the origin, does the shape go to the right place? No, it's not. It's not in the right place. It's gone too far to the right. So I'm going to have to move it to the left. So I could try holding the tracing paper at negative one zero. So I'll move the shape, draw the shape. So with tracing paper, you wouldn't have to move the shape. You could just hold the tracing paper in a different place. So let's give that one a go. If we rotate it, we can see it's in the wrong place again. So where else could we hold the tracing paper? If we try negative one one. We can see that works. So if we hold the tracing paper at negative one one, we can see that shape A goes on to shape B. So our center is at negative one, one. Here we have a different question. This time we're being asked to rotate the shape. So it says rotate shape A 180 degrees about the origin. So what we can do is we can get some tracing paper. We're going to hold our tracing paper at the origin. I'm going to draw a line going up. So I'm going to have to spin this line around 180 degrees. So it'll be going down when it's in the right place. I'm going to draw around the shape. I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. So that is where, so that is where my shape has to end up. So this is where my shape has to end up. So if I draw the shape on, and then take the tracing paper away, there is my transform shape. 
So that shape A rotated 180 degrees about the origin. Here's another question. Rotate shape A 90 degrees clockwise about the origin. So give this one a go. So we've got shape A, we're rotating 90 degrees about the origin. So we can use tracing paper and we will have a line going up. We're moving this line 90 degrees clockwise. So it would be going, well, it would move around 90 degrees clockwise. So it'd be on the X axis. Then we'll draw around the shape. So we're going to rotate 90 degrees clockwise. So this is our new shape. So I'm going to draw, draw the shape on. And then I'm going to take the tracing paper away. And there is our rotated shape. Here's another one. Rotate shape a 90 degrees anti-clockwise about negative one one so negative one one 90 degrees anti-clockwise so we're going to be holding the tracing paper at negative one one and it's going to go 90 degrees anti-clockwise so it's going to be facing this way so again i'm going to draw around my shape So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees anti-clockwise, which is this direction. So here's my new shape. And there is the rotated shape. And one more, 180 degrees, about one zero. So one zero is here, We're rotating 180 degrees. So again, I'm going to use tracing paper. So I'm holding the tracing paper at one zero. And I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. So this line's going up, it's going to end up going down. So I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees. So there is my new shape. I'll draw around, draw the shape where the tracing paper has taken it to. And take the tracing paper away. And there is the new shape. Okay, two more questions, two questions to finish up. So if you can pause the video and give these a go, do that. Question one, describe fully the single transformation that maps triangle A onto triangle B. So from looking at it, we can see that it is a rotation and it's gone 90 degrees clockwise. So the shape has been turned 90 degrees clockwise, a quarter turn to the right and we need to know the center so where would we have to hold the tracing paper so it's going to be around here somewhere so it's going to be so three away from the middle three away from the middle across one up one across three across one down three so it's going to be here and I'll use tracing paper to check that. So that's going to be where I hold the tracing paper at the center. It's going to be 90 degrees clockwise. So it's going to be a turn to the, well, 90 degrees clockwise. So a turn, a quarter turn to the right. 
I'm going to turn it 90 degrees clockwise so the arrow is going to the right. And there is shape B. So that is a center at negative 2, 2. And question two, rotate shape A 90 degrees clockwise about 3, 1. So 3, 1 is here. So it's going to go 90 degrees clockwise. We can use tracing paper. So I'll get the tracing paper. Put the center at 3, 1. That's where I'm going to hold the tracing paper when I rotate it. So the line's going up at the moment. If it goes 90 degrees clockwise, it'll be going to the right. So I'll draw a round shape A. So it goes 90 degrees clockwise. So the arrow is going to the right. And that is where the new shape will be. So we'll draw around that. I can remove the tracing paper, and there is the new shape.